ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It's morning. It's 11.30. Might be a little later because the JV game here went overtime. Today, we're at the Bensford Fieldhouse for the second half of this weekend's basketball doubleheader where the Fishmen take on the Winthrop Bikers in a rare Saturday afternoon or slash morning game. Today's Cape Ann Live Game of the Week is brought to you by Mina Dental, Gloucester Auto Body, Cape Ann Auto Body and Service, and Keith Elves Contracting. We thank you so much for sponsoring today's Game of the Week. We're gonna have the Winthrop Vikings introduced here in a second, and we'll give you the starting lineup, as the Winthrop names are very entertaining for myself, since I am neither Italian or Portuguese, and I'm not quite sure what some of these names are, what nationality, but God bless. They came all the way from Winthrop for an early game. The JV game started at 10, and it went into overtime. An exciting JV game. So here we go. Dave Sackle, the head coach. Cam Conway, I can get that one. Tyler Rockefeller, number 12. Capuccio, number five. Chris Capuccio. Emil Ramadani, number three. And number one, Samir Hadra. For your GHS Fisherman, under head coach Chris Silvera. We got the music going. Do, do, do. Jack Patton, sophomore guard. Sophomore guard number 10, Zach Oliver. Sophomore forward number 13, Byron Thomas. Senior forward number 11, Ben Reynolds, and the captain, number 24, Marcus Montanino, who on Friday eclipsed the 1,000 scored mark at Gloucester High School, joining his aunt, Paul Ryan. And we will stand now for the national anthem. Pleased to bring you today's game on KPN Live. We're very excited we got to have, be here Friday night. Jim Capello and um, Phil DeCastro were here to bring you Marcus scoring his 1,000 point. It's quite an accomplishment for the senior captain who is definitely a team player. He's worked his way here. He, if now he's getting double, triple team with a young lineup, starting a young lineup, and he's giving the ball up as much as he's supposed to, being the constant team player, worrying about wins more than stats right now, and that's what it's all about. Marcus also shines on the baseball field, and he's a four-year player here on the Gloucester Varsity. His brother Matthew played with him last year, played the last few years with him, and, and Nate is on the bench today. Nate switches JV and... Um, Varsity, and he's also a freshman this year. So in the Christmas tournament, Nate came in and subbed for Marcus, was kind of cool. Marcus will jump against number 33, Camden Conway. And we're off. 11, let's see, it's gotta be after 11.30 by now. And Marcus wins the tip back to the point guard, Jack Patton. 
Winthrop in a 2-3 zone. Marcus from at the top. And it's good. Good start for Marcus. At three. Gloucester tried a little bit of trap. Being aggressive. They got to say he's out of bounds. Nice job. It was on the line. Uh, what's the call here? Now the ref's like, what? Not quite sure. They're kind of seeing where the line is. So I think it's any time you touch the red, and he's got to be right. The other ref comes in and helps him out. This is the second meeting between the Vikings and the Fishermen. The Fishermen want to tight one up in uh, Winthrop. Winthrop in a press, which has been hurting the Fishermen. They got Ben wide open, but they can't see him. Got 10 seconds to bring it over half court. Marcus gets it. Now he's got Ben. Oh, he's got to give it out to Oliver. In and out. Oliver, same spot as Marcus. Marcus got the bounce. Ben didn't. Here comes the Vikings. Fishman in, looks like a 2 3 zone. Marcus up top. Shot no good. Thomas tips it to Reynolds. Senior tight end, split end. Ben Reynolds doing a great job. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. Doing a great job cleaning up the boards this season. Getting the little baskets underneath that he's supposed to be doing as a team player. And that, hence the Fisherman with a nice record right now. It's a big game today. That's a play of the Iron of the League coming up starting next week. Fisherman showing a little press. Then they go back into his zone. One for the top. And he's a shooter. And they're going to call a foul and underneath on Oliver. So that's Samir Hadra with a three. And I think they got Oliver for a foul underneath. He looks like the one complaining. No, okay, no, it wasn't, it was on. It's on number 10 for them. They don't have a number 10 out there. Inside, Marcus, nice pass. That's what Ben's gotta do. And he's been doing it all year. And that's what I talked about Marcus. Lost applying some pressure. 33 moves in against the zone. He's going to get fouled. That is Camden Conway. That's foul on Reynolds. Team second. So the foul was on Oliver, the first foul. But because they made the basket, they didn't, Winthrop didn't retain possession. That's interesting to me. Conway makes the first. Nice and quiet as he makes the second. Five to five. Patton. Went up in his zone. Is this where you want to look for the shooters? Oliver being one. Jack Patton being another. No good. Nice rebound by Marcus. He's going to go up strong and gets the roll. Nice job by Marcus Montanino. Gloss applied a little pressure. Nice pass by Winthrop. Oh, Oliver with the hands. Reynolds, oh! Reynolds is going to pick up a second. Looks like he got the ball. 5.53. Gloss up 7-5. Ben Reynolds with a tough second foul. He'll be coming out of the game, and we're going to see freshman Jaden Del Torchio in. And this will be Camden Conway. Shooting two. And this is the first after he was two for two his first time. That's tough for Ben. A couple minutes in the game, picking up two quick fouls. Conway hits his second. He's got three. Three throws. Went through with no pressure this time. Now they're playing a box and one on Marcus, which you would think happens quite a bit. Nice pick by Thomas. Oh, they got uh, Thomas. That's going to be backcourt. So once you go over midcourt, you can't go back. Hence the word backcourt. 
So that's the, probably not the first time Marcus has seen a box and one. A box and one is you basically play four people in a zone and you have someone shadowing one on one, the good player. So Glossin like a one, two, two. Marcus with the long arms up top. And they kind of altered that shot. Rebound goes out of bounds. It should be white ball. So no pressure by Winthrop. So this is where the other guys have to step up a little bit. Marcus is unselfish. He'll give them the ball. They just got to find an open spot. Thomas being wide open right now. It's a pick for Marcus. He sees Thomas. Thomas outside. Ooh, in and out. A couple of nice shots by Oliver and Thomas. Just didn't get in. It's number five. Chris Capuccio. Gives it to the shooter, Samar Hadria. No good. Hadria, nice hustle. Nice hustle by the Vikings right there. Conway. Drives, and they're going to call a foul outside on Thomas. That's 14 fouls already on the Fishman. We haven't even played half a quarter. A lot of reaching. 14 in the game. That's Luca Zanelli. Fishman in his own defense and out of bounds play. That's three up top. And Gali Ramandoni. It's a shooter. Conway. Conway drives. He's been drawing the fouls. This time he dishes. And Oliver with the steal, with the loose ball. Here comes Marcus. Marcus to Jack Patton. Patton shoots, no good. Rebound Oliver. Gets his head down, goes. Can't get it in. Good try by the sophomore. Seven to six, Fisherman. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. Number three with the shot. No good. Marcus with the rebound. Gets it up to Thomas. Oh, nice pass. Nice job to uh, Ben, to Oliver. Zach Oliver. It's a nice pass by Byron Thomas. Marcus threw the lead pass. It went a little bit too quick. Unselfish play. That's what wins your games. Nine six, Fisherman. This is Engel Ramadoni. Gets it off to Hadrea with the three. And he's got ice in his veins. That's his second three. Ties it up. 322. Montanino. Patton. Thomas. Inside to Montanino. Nice play. In one. Oh, boy. They're playing a zone. Uh, Zone one, they're playing on Marcus and box and one, and Marcus got a beautiful pass from Thomas inside, and he draws the foul. Very impressive play. Marcus really positioned himself up nicely on that. Thomas, good job reading it. And he makes a conventional three-point play. It's 12 to nine. Jake Montalaro again for Thomas. So the two point guards. You watch the zone here. They got Jacob down low. Oh, we're going to go man to man. Jake would allow us a good three pointer. So, shooter. Nice force out there. Nice turnover. Jacob should shoot the three pointer with Winthrop in the zone. The box of one. That's what Gloss is looking for. Someone to hit that shot. Open things up a little bit for Marcus. That's where you don't want to pressure or anything. Oliver, oh, <laughs> Jaden threw a block down underneath. That wouldn't have counted anyhow. So that's five on the Fishman, five team fouls. We're not even out of the first quarter. Seven you shoot, not a good thing if Winthrop's a good free throw shooting team. Fishman picking up in the man to man. Sama. Conway with the shot. That's a three for Conway. Tied up, 12-12. Montanino over cross. Shot up, no good. That was Mortolaro. 
Samaha Hadria, he's got two threes. Conway is the other shooter. Montanino, we got a break here. Montanino with Mortolaro. Jacob puts it in. If, you, if you're watching the game and you're a kid, watch the game and see how Marcus drew the attention to him and then nicely gave the ball off instead of forcing it up to make the easy layup for Mortolaro. That's how you play team basketball. Nice hustle by Patton. Mortolaro up top to Marcus. Marcus from downtown. A little downtown. A little bit deep. 1.30 to go. It's 14 and 12 fishermen. A little bit better than Friday's first quarter. Ah, oh, man. Another foul. They're just not moving their feet. That was on Patton. That's six, so 120 to go here in the first quarter. And Fishman are in the penalty situation for the rest of the half. Montanino takes a break with 120 to go. Good, good break here for Marcus. It's same thing, Hedraya for Winthrop took a break. Good move, 120, and then you get the extra minute of the timeout the in between quarters. So it's a nice, Conway, oh, Conway, good idea. Probably should have taken that, he said. Go, we got Jack Patton. Shalino is in, oh, steal. Oh, and then it's gonna be a foul, so they gotta go to the line. That's all of a second. It's 52 seconds to go. This is number four, Dave DiCuccio. Cappuccio and DiCuccio. He'll get one on one, he'll shoot one. If he makes his first one, he gets a second one. Winthrop with just one team foul so far. He misses it. We're gonna get a travel. Shalino came down, but he had no place to go. Drive to the basket, nice pass. That's a foul on Shalino. This is gonna be, oh, Zach Oliver, that's his third. That's not a good thing at all. Oh, we can't do anything now, he's gotta wait. So that's his third foul, so we might not be seeing Zach the rest of the half. That's tough, because he's a shooter. I'm pretty sure Silvera had a sub waiting for him to take him out before that happened, you get tired. 14 makes the first. Seconds in and out, nice job by Shalino. That was Luca Zanelli. Thomas. And the Del Torchill. Now we get a foul. Yay. Went to second. That was a reach in foul too. Thomas will take it out of bounds. 35 seconds to go. 14, 13 fishermen. Thirty-five seconds to go. Thirty on the thirty-second. A little bit of pressure up here for Patton. Patton gets it away. Mortolaro to Thomas. Thomas, oh, overshoots Patton. Twenty-four seconds. What the brings in their shooters. Puccio and Hadrara from Winthrop to come back in. I'll set up for one shot. It's 14, 12, 13, 14, 13 fishermen. Trying to hold them here. Layup, no good. Offensive rebound, no good. Oh, and they're gonna call a foul. Good job by Jaden and Conway. That foul is on one, who? 12? Tyler Rockefeller, his first. Chris 
Chris Lopez comes in to give Rockefeller a little break. Eight seconds. Patton, no good. Shalino, no good. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. With Gloucester Fisherman 14, with the Vikings 13. Good start, a good first four minutes, and it slowed down quite a bit. Marcus, Ol Marcus Montanino leading the way with eight. Jacob Mortelau with the basket. Reynolds and Oliver with two points each for the Vikings. Samar Adrea has two three pointers for six. Uh, Luca Zanelli has a free throw, and Camden Conway with a three and three free throws for six points. And that will be the score. So the Fishermen just really, really reaching, not playing defense. The refs calling a close game here. And that could come back to haunt him here this quarter, especially with Zach Oliver on the bench with three fouls. Oliver one of the shooters. He has not started yet. He's just got one basket. So someone's got to step up a little bit. We'll see Marcus back into the game. Go back to Friday. Uh, let's Actually, let's talk a little bit about the JV game. JVs were down by a lot at halftime, and they came roaring back. Um, an offensive rebound by Avery Emerson, who put it up and uh, put it up and in to end the uh, game and put it into overtime. And then great shot to the second and that overtime by uh, Adam Borwick and Danny Brown. Great defense by Nate Oates, Brett Geipo, Kevin Martinez. So a big, big win for the JV squad today. On a coach uh, Pratt, which one is it? One of the Pratt's were coaching, I think. No, maybe not. Let's see, it says, doesn't have the JV coach. We got Adam Philpott, Tyler Cleveland, Aaron Bryant, Cahill, helping out Coach Silvera. So for the Fishman, we'll go back here. We got Jacob Mortelau's 14, Jack Patton's four. 13 is Brian, Brian Thomas, Marcus Montino. Thomas, no good. Del Torchio is 30, Montino 24. Besides Oliver with the three fouls, Ben Reynolds has two. Conway, the tough shot. Rebind Del, Del Torchio. Patton controls. Marcus Montanino. Montanino gets it out to Mortolaro. Can't get the bounce. Fighting in Mortolaro and Montanino. 14-13. Fisherman playing man to man. Nice help defense by Jake Mortolaro. Three pointer, no good. A lot of push and hitting the ball instead of grabbing it. Montanino on that shooter, Conway. Mortolaro on the other shooter, Samara Hadraya. Montanino with the rebound. I'll try to get inside. Nice hands by Conway. And here comes the Vikings. That's Chris Capuccio up top. Looking to drive. Nice help by Thomas. Shot from outside. Oh, that's his third three-pointer, Samir Hadraya. He puts the Vikings ahead, 16-14. And we're going to get a foul on the Vikings. That'll be the fourth team foul. Chris Capuccio. Fourth on the team. Patton. Marcus. Thomas. He gets blocked, but they're going to call a foul on Conway. He's not too happy about that. And Thomas will go to the line to shoot two. The fishermen trailing by two. So all we had right so far this quarter is a, in two minutes. This is some uh, Adria three-pointer. Thomas hits the first. And he gets the second one in there. Tie game, 6.04 to go.
steal by Montanino. He switches and one. Nice job. He switched hands beautifully on that. We get the big guy, TJ Jenkins. Comes in from Waterloo, number 21. Number 20. I had uh, seven years ago, TJ, Nate Lake, and Ben Reynolds, Mr. Malkern's homeroom. Great times in Miss D. Diego's English class. They might not say so, but oh my God, they were very three entertaining sixth grade boys. Had a lot of fun with them. So the Fisherman with Marcus's three point play up 19 to 16, 538 to go here in the second quarter. Reynolds and Oliver on the bench with foul trouble. Two of the starters. Montanino. Thomas. Thomas with a nice drive. Oh, nice play by the sophomore. Nice play. We're going to get timeout. It's so a fisherman are up by five. The biggest lead of the game here. 5.16 to go. So real nice play by the sophomore. Showing a lot of... Uh, Aggressiveness there, taking it to the hoop, got the roll. So he's got four points this quarter, Marcus with three, 21 to 16. So Vikings only have the three pointer by Samar Sama Hadrea. So as we said, Marcus, I believe he became the 11th GHS player to hit the thousand mark. The first one, of course, being Don Patrigan. Um, Patrigan did it before the three point line, or he probably would have had 2,000. Patrick, I believe, is the only one who went on to play D1. Played with who? Trivia question at the University of Miami. <laughs> Rick Barry. Anyhow. Um, so Adam Philpott being the last boy to score a 1,000. Now Adam's the coach, so I know Adam was thrilled that um, Marcus scored it. Playing four years, it's got to be your, basically your average 250 a year. But a lot of times you don't get 250 points your freshman year. It's usually your junior and senior year, you step it up. Marcus, sophomore, ju junior year, he stepped it up. He was the leading scorer. He was the MVP last year of the South Division, NEC. And I don't see why he won't be again this year. It's their 7-3, 8-3 record here. After yesterday, Friday's win, 7-3. Inside. Puccio, no good. Rebound by Thomas. Up to Patton. Patton looking up. Montanino. Rana, no good. Rebound by number four. Turn my page. Conway with this drive. No good. Conway with his own rebound. And going Marcus to Thomas. Touchdown. Oh, he missed the layup. Thomas with the rebound. Oh, he's out of bounds. That's where Marcus is just so good. He's so, that height and the long arms. He sees the open player. Byron just missed that, just a little bit underneath the basket. Went to Viking JV kids over there. Look at him taking self, doing selfies, doing something. That shirt and ties on Sunday morning. So cool. No good. Good defense by Patton. Forced a bad shot. I thought all the girls did that. That's impressive. Thomas feeling it. Oh, nice pass to Jenkins. In low to the big guy. Patton, no good. Del Torchio, no good. TJ jumping all over the place. TJ Jenkins bringing some life off the bench. TJ's grandfather, Harold, the freshman coach here at GHS. And his sister is on the JV team. TJ hits the first. As Winthrop now is in the bonus situation with uh, 3.52 to go. Missed the second, but they got to call a violation. Nope. Yeah, they are going to call a violation on Winthrop. 
TJ gets another shot here. Can't come till the ball leaves his hands. Then you can move. Can't get that one either. That goes out of bounds. New life. Andrea comes back in the game. He says, shoot a 349. The fishermen have it up to a six point lead. Patton back to Montanino. Marcus inside to Jaden Del Torchio. Back outside. Oh, nice pass. Oh, he got crushed. Somebody got crushed down with them. Jaden's like, I'm not going to shake your hand. I'm a freshman. No. Jaden's body's still growing. That's the second one on him. So Coach Silvera will take him up before he picks up the third. Sam Shalino back in and Mortalaro back in. This is Conway at the line. Camden Conway. He had six in the first quarter, nothing yet here. It's the first. And the second. It's deep. Nice rebound by Shalino. Good job boxing out. Here comes Montanino. Wadalaro sneaking in. Shalino cleaning the boards. Patton. No good. Shalino again. Out to Montanino. Oh, he's out of bounds. Two great offensive rebounds by Sam Shalino, and the Fishman couldn't capitalize. Very slow scoring second half here. Quarter. Oh, he said, I got help, I got help. Conway from deep. Oh, buries the three. Camden Conway, 22-20. Right back, they're right back in it. Six point lead and the Fishman haven't scored. Montanino. Got two people on him wherever he goes. Patton, they're gonna call a foul, interested. Let's see, eighth on Winthrop. As they only had one at one point, now they're way back. Well, it's only his first, but they take it about. Interesting. We got Thomas waiting to come in after this free throw by TJ. TJ, no good. Sam, fighting away, that's Marcus. Byron coming over for TJ Jenkins. Brought some life to the bench. To the floor, I mean. Gonna bring in Reynolds with two fouls. Interesting. Sam did, did a good job in there. So 22-20, 235 to go here in the first half. Three deep. No good. Around the him and out. Marcus Martinino with the rebound. Stops, he pops, no, short. Conway with the rebound. Gives it off to Capuccio. Patton on him. Take away the right, nice job by Thomas. Pass inside, back out. Ramaduchu, Conway. They're gonna call a foul. Oh, oh. A lot of whistles. And that's the ninth. <coughs> well, that's the tenth. First on Patton. So no matter what, uh, for a minute and 56, no matter where the foul is, they'll be shooting two. Conway's a nice shooter. He gets the first. Six in the first quarter. Now he's got five here in the second. 22-21 game. Now it's all tied up. 
So a 6 nothing run here by Winthrop causes Coach Chris Silvera with 1.56 to go in the halftime to call a timeout. So Conway and Conway's been the big scorer with 12 points and Samar Hadria with nine. So we'll see if uh, Coach Silvera makes some adjustments on the two of them in the second half. For the Fishman, Marcus Montanino has three this quarter. Thomas with four and Jenkins with one. Montanino the leading scorer, but Zach Oliver on the bench with two. Picked up three quick fouls in the first quarter. So it's all a game of runs and who has the final one. Fishman playing good defense, re reaching quite a bit in the first quarter. The Fisherman ball, 156 to go till halftime. Thomas will take it into Patton. Wadalaro, Montanino, to Patton. Jack drives, can't get it to go. Oh, and it goes right to Patton. Ben Reynolds kept that alive. Nice job. Puccio drives. No good. Rebound by Patton. Oh, he tries to thread the needle. Instead, it goes all the way back. Reynolds hustling. Goes out of bounds. Off of Winthrop. Nice job by Ben Reynolds. Modelaro and Patton. Went up still in the box and won. Who made an offensive foul? That was an offensive foul. They don't shoot those. Byron Thomas obviously was trying to throw a screen for Montanino and instead threw a nice football block. Fisherman up by two, 104 to go. Shooter, no good, rebound Montanino. Well, he really gets up there for those rebounds. Makes him a lot taller than what his height is. Throw it to Thomas, Thomas feeling it. And he hits it. A tree, that's huge. 40 seconds, 27, 22. Seven points for Thomas in this quarter. Conway, nice play by Reynolds. Rebound, uh, in and out. Let him beat him. Samara Hadria shoot, will shoot two. 22.6 to go here, Fisherman up by five. A good five to nothing run here for the Fisherman. Fisherman took a six to nothing run. Winthrop came back with six. Now the Fisherman with five. Fisherman hopefully will just go for one shot. Go into the halftime with the lead. Andrea with this makes the first, 27-23. Well, seconds in and out. Good job by Marcus. With the rebound, box out first, then go get the ball. Oh my God, another offensive foul. That's on Ben, that's his third. Ben's like, what did I do? Marcus is just standing out there. Ah, not a good thing. We got two fishermen with three fouls, and now went through one on one. It's an offensive foul, buddy. You don't shoot one on ones on offensive fouls. Oh, you don't shoot two offensive foul. That was an offensive foul. So Winthrop will hold for one. Shot, no good. Rebound, number four. 
Puts it up, no good. Marcus with the rebound. And that's going to be it at halftime with the Gloucester Fishermen 27 and the Winthrop Vikings 23 for keeping live. We'll be back for second half action. The research here at St. Jude is very important. It gave my daughter a second chance at life. Because we have donors that believe in what we're doing, we can really move our research forward much faster. St. Jude is working to drive the overall survival rate for childhood cancer to 90% in the next decade. And we won't stop until no child dies from cancer. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. Looking for a shop to fix your car's collision damage? Gloucester Auto Body has over 30 years of experience going on three generations in the business. A state-of-the-art laser measuring system assures 100% correction on unibody frames. And EnviroBase high-performance paint is environmentally friendly and color matching is precise. We're not just collision repair. Gloucester Auto Body is a full-service repair facility. So trust your car to Corrado and Paul at Gloucester Auto Body. You've probably heard that a healthy smile helps promote a healthy heart. At Mina Dental Associates, excellent patient care always comes first. And now Mina Dental Associates is introducing a new dental savings plan, the Mina Dental Access Card. It works like a warehouse club membership. You get significantly reduced rates on dental services for one affordable annual membership fee. Take a look at what you can save. Want to find out more? Call Mina Dental Associates today at our Gloucester or Danvers offices and ask about the new Mina Dental Access Card dental savings plan. Your smile will thank you. One-stop shopping saves time, money, and legwork. That's true for home contracting, too. For your next job, there's just one place to call. Keith Alves Contracting. From new cabinets to a new house, Keith Alves can do it all. We're experts at new home construction, remodeling, exterior and decks, bath and kitchen, and custom finished carpentry. So don't waste time and money. Let Keith manage your project commercial or residential, from start to finish, with quality work that's built to last. Did you know that you don't have to go back to your dealer for factory scheduled service required by your warranty? It's true. At Cape Ann Auto Body and Service Center in Essex, we offer the same quality factory scheduled services, often for considerably less. We keep your car safe and reliable with quality tires, brakes, shocks, exhaust, and wheel alignments. The next time your car needs service, turn to Cape Ann Auto Body and Service Center. One stop for all your auto needs. Second half action here at the Ben Smith Field House at Gloucester High. Fisherman Boys basketball team versus the Winthrop Vikings. Gloucester 27, Winthrop 23. Leading scores for Winthrop is Samara Hadria with 10 points, three threes, and Camden Conway with 12 points, including two threes. And then Luca Zanelli hit a free throw. For the Fisherman, Jack Patton, Zach Oliver, Ben Reynolds, Jacob Mortolaro all hit two. T.J. Jenkins with one, Byron Thomas with an excellent second quarter with seven, and Marcus Montino, 11. I had to count. Can you get my fingers going? So, Oliver, who was, we'll see how Zach Oliver does coming out of the, uh, off the bench as he had to sit the whole second quarter on the bench. We'll see how he reacts as sophomore. He could light it up or he could not, you know. He don't want to cause too much, just keep play the flow in the game. That's Zach, number 10. Jack Patton, four. Thomas feeling it, number 13. Now it's gonna hit the top. Marcus Montanino with the rebound. Can't get it, Marcus again. Can't get it. Just doesn't fall for Marcus. And Ben Reynolds, number 11. Ben's got three also. Oh, and they're going to call Ben with the block right away. Oh, Ben's got four. All 
It's going to take him right out of the game. This will be Conway. Conway's a big, strong kid. Must have played football the way he's knocking people over. He also can shoot, though. It's only his second free throw he's missed. Jacob Mortelau coming for Oliver. It's tough for a kid. It's, what is he, 15, 16? Get calls, feel like you're getting the calls against you. Conway makes one out of two. Three-point lead for the Fisherman. So we'll see how he can react when he comes back in the game. He obviously got a tough call against him right away. Thomas again, in and out that time. Two nice shots by Thomas, just didn't hit him. And nice shots in and out. Stop, pops, rebound and Reynolds. Montanino. It's back to Montalaro. Jacob to Thomas. Montanino, tough shot. Ooh, that was a tough shot, but yet he hit it. Twenty-nine, twenty-four, six forty-six. Fisherman playing man to man. Three with a shot. That's Angeli Madoni. Rebound, Marcus all the way. Sees Thomas. Thomas with the drive. Nice scoop. Byron Thomas having a game. Chris Capuccio, the point guard, gets it to Hadria. Conway, some pressure by Montanino. Conway gets his own rebound. Drives in, no good. Rockefeller with the offensive rebound shot, no good. Patton comes away with it, the big guy. Stops, pops, just a little short. 31-24, Fisherman. Drive, smile, no good. Rebound Montalino. Oh, nice left by Reynolds. Nice pass, that's what Ben can do. He's there, he's cleaning up the garbage man, I call him. I call the people that play his position the garbage man because he watches all the guys shoot from outside. He gets the offensive rebounds and put it in him in. Nothing wrong with that. 33-24. Fisherman outscoring. Went up six to one here to start. The second quarter, third quarter, 5.29 to go. Quick timeout by Winthrop. As they come out a little slow. Three baskets, three different people. Good ball movement by the Fisherman. Where Winthrop seems to just be trying to drive down the hoop. Not as many passes or assists as the Fisherman have had. Talking to Coach Sean Gula, the girls coach at halftime, and how well the girls have been working. It's not working in wins yet, but it will be if they keep that hard work ethic going. Sean's got a lot of enthusiasm for the game. It's Capuccio. <coughs> oh, the pass is no good. Looking for the cut in Dave Siccio. Jack Patton. It's like the leader, Patton, you know, the general. Gets it inside to Marcus, but he's got four people on him. Gonna tie it up, if anything. Lucky to do that. Goes back, possession now goes to Winthrop. Goes to its worth Capuccio. Got it by Patton. Only two people really scored for Winthrop. 
Conway being one of them, the leading scorer. Pass out in the middle, no one there. It's a drive by number three. There we go, he finally gets a basket in Jell Ramadoni. Miguel Ramadoni. Drive, no good. Rebound by Reynolds, no good. Montanino's there. He's gonna get fouled. Thirty-three twenty-four. That's is that gonna be a shooting foul? I don't think so. It's gonna be out of Del Torcho will come in. Follow Ramadoni. Mortalaro coming out. Pinelli into the game. Thomas to Montanino. Marcus to Patton to Thomas. Thomas with the drive. A little deep. And Ramadoli with the rebound to Capuccio. Ramadoni starting to feel it. No good. Rebound Montanino. Fishman bringing someone out every time. Patton going against the big guys. Del Torchio, and he gets fouled. <laughs> Gonna like the no fear and Jack Patton. What do you think? All of 120 going up against the big guys? Five, six, five, seven. Thomas will take it out of bounds. 355. Oh, Jaden couldn't quite get it. Looking for Jaden. Here comes Samara. Layup. Samir Hydro with two. 33-28. Run, it's better run. Each team making their own. Thomas to Reynolds to Montanino. Thomas, ooh, back to Montanino. He steps back for three. No good, deep. Thomas can't get it to Montanino. And there's five with the shot. No good. Rebounds by Ben Reynolds. Thomas running. Thomas driving down the court. Oh, they just can't get it to fall. Good shots. Nice job by Jaden. That will be Fisherman Ball. Del Torcio with a good offensive rebound. Tied it up. Another year by now, he'll be ripping that out of the kid's hand. He'll be that much stronger, that much more coordinated. That's twice he's looked for Jaden. I don't know what he's doing. Got two guys on him. Puccio bringing it down. 3.01 to go. Fisher up by five. Tamar, no good. Jack Patton, nice job. Jack boxed out. He had about, the other guy had about four inches on him. We're getting it. Thomas and Reynolds. Good break for Ben right now. 2.52 mark. Doesn't want to pick up that fourth foul. Conway. Oh, they're going to call a foul? Oh. That's tough. Shalino, that's going to be three shots. Let Winthrop get right back in it there. The fisherman out. It's first on Sam. I know he came right in the game, I'm sure. That wasn't meant to be. Conway with the first. And the second. Went to it right back in the game here. And the third. He's got 10 points from the free throws aligned tonight, Conway. It's 33-31. All of a sudden, went to it right back in the game again. The game, it's been a game of runs. It's been six points one way, then six the other. Fishman been staying strong, keeping the lead for the most part. Montanino with it. 2.40 to go in the third quarter. Mortolaro, no good. Fishman gone cold. Patton, travel. Yeah. 
<laughs> a little bit of listening to the coaches. I weren't too happy where people were standing. Capuccio gets it to Di Serio. Back to Capuccio. With the moving the ball a lot better right now. Shot, no good. Offensive rebound, right? That was Capu uh, Capuccio, but he couldn't put it in. Here comes the fisherman. Marcus, double team. Oh, nice move. His height gave him that one. 35-31, 145 to go. Oh, nice steal by Sam. The guy held him. Nobody saw that. Sam's like, hey, he held me. I think that would be in football more than basketball, I guess. Conway up top. Desiccio, loose ball. Timeout, went through, nice play. 35-31, 121 to go in the third quarter. Boy, Winthrop had to leave, let's see, the game was at 10, the JV game, so they have to leave like 8.30. But it seemed like it's affected too many people. The JV team lost in overtime, but they have this big guy, 32. I think his name is um, Austin Dignolt. Uh, they don't win 32 on the roster, but he's the only name that doesn't have a number. Played, he didn't play in the fourth quarter in the overtime. That could have been the difference. It's probably, I figure he's probably a freshman. He's huge, like probably six, 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 eight in that range. Sometimes you're not as coordinated when you're that tall, that young. I'm sure he'll be doing a lot of work in the off season to get himself better. Played a little bit in the second quarter. So 35-31. Went through ball, Fisherman up. Shot. Oh, that was, you can say, the 30 second clock. So, good defensive possession by the Fisherman. Jack Patton. Pick, nice pick by Mortolaro. Oh, they didn't call the foul. Ball went out of bounds. Turn over on the fisherman. Here comes Winthrop. Whoops. Boy, Child's looking at his coach. The ref gives her the ball. Conway. Hits a net in, no good. 59.57.9. Fishman could have two possessions here, 35 31. They will have two possessions. Del Torchio gets it to Mortolaro. Shots, no good. Del Torchio with the offensive rebound. Patton. Oh, got away with one there. Montanino. That's a foul. Patton, Patton gets fouled, and one. That's gonna be an in four. Jack Patton from downtown. Montanino with three guys hacking away at him. He manages to find the open person, Jack Patton. Foul on Hadra, second personal, third on the team. So much better foul-wise game. Patton completes a four-point play. 38-31, Fisherman, 26 seconds to go. It's all because of the good offensive rebounds by Del Torchio, that play down. Shalino taps him, can't tap that. A lot of reaching today by both teams. 19.2. Not a bad foul though, because it just slows it down. Samara, shot, no good. Offensive rebound. Oh, he got his own offensive rebound, but he couldn't put the bunny in. In and out. Sometimes the hoop is not your friend. 
Six seconds. Montanino's gonna go for it. No, short. Patton. Oh! Jack Patton with the three. In the right place at the right time as the ball came off the rim. It came right to Jack and he just knew the clock was running out. It throws it up and it goes in. So wow, what an exciting end of the quarter. The Fisherman up, 41 to 31. So two threes by Patton to end that quarter. Patton with seven and seven just right there with the two threes. He's got nine total. Ben Reynolds with another basket. Ryan Thomas with the basket. Montanino with four. 15 points that quarter. Went up with uh, four, six, eight. <coughs> and the lead is at 10. So Winthrop having trouble with just Hadria and Conway basically scoring. They got one other basket for one play and a free throw. So we got Zach Oliver back in the game. Let's hope he can not get a cheap foul called here right away. Need some offense. He's got to just relax. Tough when you're a sophomore. Say that. Shalino's still in. Montanino. Del Torchio and Patton. <coughs> Shot. No good. Winthrop's really had a lot of good shots. It just went in and out. Patton's feeling it now. Oh! He's on fire! Oh, and then he picks up a foul. He's so excited that he came down and reached. Three threes. All basically in a row. With a little lefty. Always with a smile on his face. Passing low. That shouldn't happen. Oh, we got fouled afterwards. Montanino. Oliver's got to go up with it. And Oliver with the three. They're on fire, Zach Oliver. That's a great way to come back in and respond after being on the bench for two quarters. On the bench for two quarters. Shot a little at halftime, but comes right out to start the fourth quarter and hits one. And it's 47 to 31 all of a sudden. It's a fisherman a going downtown. Four three-pointers in the last four possessions for the fisherman. Put the lead up to 16. This Winthrop has gone stone cold. It's basically been a back and forth. Six points for the fisherman, six for Winthrop. Game of runs and... Now it's been the Fisherman's turn to run it. Reynolds back in the game. Shalino still there. Oliver, Patton, and Montanino for the Fisherman. For the Vikings, Conway, Luca, Zanelli, Chris Capuccio, the point guard. Number four is Dave DeCiccio. And three is Angeli Ramadoni. Looking for Conway. Stolen by Oliver. Inside for Montanino. Nice hands by Marcus. That was impressive just for Marcus to control that ball. Pass was into three people. This is number two. Mikey Chavis. Chavis. Not Chavis, like. Chavez on the things. Chavez. I don't know. Don't have it. Doesn't have an eye at the end. Reynolds. Patton. Oliver. No good. Reynolds. And Shalino. Marcus. Oh, in and out. Oliver with the foul. The fisherman ball underneath it sets the fourth on Winthrop. Tyler Rockefeller coming in for the Vikings. Shalino, no good. Reynolds, nice play. Loose ball. Fisherman. What's he calling? He's calling a foul. 
Oh, good hustle, though, by the fisherman. Man, that's going to be five team fouls and the fisherman fouls on Shalino. It's a tough one. Those are hustle fouls. Nothing you can do about that. Lost to football scrappy town. We're going to get every loose ball there is. So Chavez playing point guard. Inside, Rockefeller, no good. Rebound by Shalino. Montanino to Oliver, and he fouls and one. <laughs> Uh-oh, he called the technical because they came on the court. They were excited. That's pretty sad. God, it's high school sports. A couple of the kids got excited because he got the three. Been sitting on the bench. They know how good this is. They give us a technical foul. Boo hiss, we say. So Oliver with his second three this quarter. So Oliver will shoot the one. And then what will happen? Winthrop will shoot two shots for the technical, and they'll get the ball. They're a little remorseful. They're excited. And the end of the bench players. Does go as a technical foul, goes as a, um, a team foul. So the official with six team fouls now with 6.09 to go. But they're also up by 20. Conway will take the two. He'll hit one. This kid's got, that's his 11th point from the foul line. He's got, plus he's got two threes. This is the second. We went the ball at half court. So here's the big guy we're talking about. I believe his name is... Oh, Peter Journal, something. What allow in for Patton. TJ Jenkins. Byron Thomas. Martino comes out for a break. Fishman up by 19, 6.09 to go. Chavis, Puccio, drive, it's good. That's number 12, Tyler Rockefeller, his first basket of the night. Oliver, to Thomas, TJ tried to set a pick, out to Oliver, travel. <coughs> Joe Mahoney coming in, number 11. Looks like a track <laughs> Our announcer over here that does the calls the plays. Oh, offensive foul. We've had a lot of those. As I mentioned to the refs, we've got a lot of football players on our team. I'm sure with the pass this year. So 5.36. Fishman up, 51-34. Oliver for three. Just short. With the, with the rebound. Luca Zanelli gets it. Chavis. Inside. Number 11 with the shot. No good. Big guy. Puts it in. Jarius. Peter Jarius. We don't have him on our roster. Oliver trapped inside, and that's got to get a foul. That's got to be it for the him. Well, not a good day for poor Zach. Only got three minutes this quarter. That will happen. There'll be days like this. Eddie Rivera in for Oliver. Mama said there'd be days like this. Zach Oliver had one today. He did manage to have nine points in limited time, which is pretty impressive. 
Shot is good. Number 11. It's a one on one situation for five minutes to go. This game isn't over yet. Plenty of time. It's Joe Mahoney. Mahoney hits them both. Oh, Manny Ventura. Peter Jurvitz. I got it right there. Okay. On um, steal. 14. No good. Rivera's got to follow him. That was Luca Zanelli. So it's back to 51-38. See how long Coach Silvera keeps Bacchus and gang out. Makes the first. Fifty-one thirty-nine, four forty-eight to go, and the second. Fifty-one forty, back to a eleven-point game. The fish went up by twenty. Shalino, Thomas, no good. Rebound, Mortalaro. Thomas to Rivera. Jenkins, Eddie, no good. Drive in. Chavis looking, no good, no. Jervich, for two. Now it's an eight point game, eight, nine point game. We're going to get a timeout. Coach Silvera has got to put back his starters. 3.59 to go. It's tough, you want to give guys playing time and you try to get them in and then they couldn't quite get any just going because it happened with Oliver picking up his fifth foul. So 51-42, so Fishman have been outscored uh, 10 to nothing. Probably 11, 11 to nothing. But it's been a game of runs the whole day. We have uh, Eddie Rivera will stay in, which is nice with the big guys. Montanino, Eddie's a senior, he's put his time in. Thomas, Del Torcio, and Patton. Fifty-one forty-two, three fifty-nine 49 to go. Went to coach keeps with his players in. Or brought him back. Lost the ball. Jack Patton. To Rivera. Montanino. Patton, that was his spot. Nope, not now. Del Torcio with a foul. No time left. You've got to put Winthrop right back on the line. Being aggressive, going for the ball. Winthrop got it, has to get back going here. As they had their flurry of threes, and they haven't scored for a long time. It's all over here, it's last three. It's no good. Rebound Montanino. It's a huge rebound. It's a one on one. The next rest of the way, Winthrop will be shooting two. Nice pass. Del Torchio from Montanino. That was big. Rivera to Montanino. Montanino gets hammered going in. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Marcus makes the first. Reynolds comes back in, plays Eddie Rivera. Six to 
17 for Marcus on the evening. 55-42, Double team. Chavis, shot, no good. Rebound Martinino. Marcus. Oh, nice try. Good attempt. It's a little too high. Try to feed Del Torchio again. 55-42, 3.41 to go in the game. Gloucester Fisherman looking to improve to, I think, eight and three. Nice steal by Jaden. Can't quite get it. Oh, Patton with the steal. Patton's got some speed. Oh, he gets hammered. Oh. No call. Oh, there's a foul. Nope. I'm just going to say. Yeah. Good hustle. We'll give a good hustle play to number two. Chavis. Marcus taking his time. Ben posting up. Left. Can't make it. Ben with the rebound. Nice play by Ben Reynolds. That's going to be it right there. Reynolds was six on the night. 152, 158 to go. 57-42 Fisherman. Short. Went through with a cold shooting night tonight. Martinino drives for two. Fifty-nine forty-two. So Winthrop came in early morning game, eleven thirty start. Oh, blocked by Del Torcho Reynolds. Both of them in there. TJ comes in for Marcus. Gonna get a timeout. So we'll see if we get any other subs. Fifty-nine forty-two. So the Fisherman had a 20 point lead. Coach Silvera putting pe people in and kind of backfired a little bit as Winthrop came back. But then they uh, brought the big guys in to put the game away. So 125 to go. We have Jack Patton who got hot at the end of the third quarter. Three threes with 12 points for the game. A great game, scoring game for him. Zach Oliver, the other sophomore um, with limited time Played maybe one quarter and one quarter today with nine points. Reynolds with six. Byron Thomas had a great second quarter with nine points. Mortelaro with two. TJ Jenkins with a free throw. Del Torcha with two. And Mont Montanino leading the way. 19. Rivera with the ball. To Patton. Eddie. Looking in the middle to Del Torchio. Patton. Rivera inside to Jaden. Nice pass out TJ. Oops, the ball bounced off of him. A little excitement. One minute to go. 59-42 Fisherman. A big win for the Fisherman. They needed this. There's teams they needed to beat this year, and they've been doing it. 32 double teamed. Gets punched away. Patton. This time he gets fouled. So a good win. The meeting, the, the lens are coming up for the fishermen. And so these are games that they have to win if you're Want to watch a good game go up to Lynn English and they're like out of control good. See how the fishermen do against them. Patton makes the first. Jack with a big game today. He stepped up all over on the bench. He stepped up and made the shots when they needed him. 
Jack gets them both. So total team effort for the fishermen. So they're gonna improve to eight and three. Two more wins they need to make the tournament. They like said they got some tough teams coming up. Salem, both wins. Beverly. There's a couple more wins there. TJ's gonna draw the foul, reach in. Number 10 will go to the line for Winthrop. That is Chris Lopez. So 18.2 to go. Good win here for the Fisherman. Lopez hits the first. Winthrop really struggled though. They basically only had two scores until the fourth quarter in uh, Samar Hadria and Camden Conway. Second one misses Del Torchio. Del Torchio gets fouled. You know he was going for three. He can shoot threes, he keeps telling everyone. And I've seen him do it. His spot is more down underneath. Jaden will go to the line to shoot one and one. Makes the first, he gets the second. It's a rare, a rare Sunday morning start for the fishermen. And they handled it well. It was back and forth, back and forth till the end of the third quarter, the start of the fourth with the sophomores Oliver and Patton going crazy from three-point land. Del Torcio with both, he gets four for the game. Oh, Del Torcio with the block. The big guy underneath, Peter Jernovich. That's his second. And that's gonna be the end of the game with the Gloucester Fisherman, 63. And the Winter Vikings, 45. Great win for the Fisherman. And for Cape Ann Live, Jim Capello and Lisa Olson, great watching today, great watching the game and the fighting fishermen, and we will be around courtside action soon. Good afternoon, everyone.